Alrighty, so this is going to be a different kind of video for the channel here. And you may be wondering, what the heck is this? This is what you call a magneto. And they are commonly used in small aircraft that use a uh, uh, reciprocating engines. Either uh, radial or, most commonly radial or horizontally opposed. Unless you're one of those oddball people. And so what I'll be doing today is actually an overview and demo of how to internally time one of these. What is a magneto? A magneto is a self-contained electrical device that is used to send the spark to the engine in a lot of small airplanes. And once we get this opened up, I'll show you um, how it works to get a good understanding of it. This is one type of one type of magneto. This is a slick magneto. There's also uh, a Bendix Magneto, which is a little different. Same principles, though. So this is a slick model 4300 series Magneto. Specifically, this is a 4381. It is a left-turning Magneto. This model was particularly made in April of 2013. It's indicated by the serial number right there. Alright, let's get into this thing. Alright, so I already ha have had it timed for messing with it a couple times already since I've had it, so for just for demonstration purposes, I'm going to take this out for now. The, the timing pin is just used to hold the distributor gear in place after you time this on the inside, so set that over here for now. So, and then I have this, like, block, basically. You can set it in here. Makes disassembling this thing a lot easier. So there's a screw here, 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 and here. I will... So yeah, that's the first step in disassembly, so I will go ahead and do that. Alright, and then when you take it off... There's that wire. You have a disconnect right there, so... Alright, so we have that wire disconnected, and we have accessed the inside of the magneto. So in this top part, the only electrical component right here is the capacitor or um, condenser. And the purpose of this, so that um, the breaker points, which are actually right in here, there it's like under the middle of the gear right there. The capacitor is there to, to pre prevent um, arcing at those points when they're opening and closing, because that's what, you know, sends the voltage of the spark plug, sorry. So now we'll take the distributor assembly off and then you'll get to see more of the inside. Alrighty, so taking this off. Okay, so this is the distributor assembly. So this right here, this little black stud is called the carbon brush because that electricity flows through this point of the coil. So this carbon brush makes contact with this uh, secondary point here on the coil or transformer. So yeah, this distributed gear will be always be spinning normally. I can take off this. You can see the carbon brush attaches to this uh, distributor gear here. And we have the uh, electrode post there. Or arm, I guess. And you see there are different holes in the gear. That's for timing purposes. If I get in the light, you can see left and right, and then X, I actually no idea what X means. Right means for right-turning magneto, and left or for left-turning magneto, which is what this is. And then when this spins, this uh, electrode makes contact, almost, I guess, not per totally, it makes contact with each of these four electrodes, and then there would be wiring harnesses that lead these to the spark plugs of each cylinder. So this is looking more in-depth into the magneto. This is a coil or transformer which is used to step up the voltage. And here we have the rotor gear. And if I take this rotor gear off, you can see the breaker points a bit more easily. You can see those little points right there. Let me demonstrate for you. Right there, those are your breaker points. This is a good time to give you a synopsis on how this whole magneto thing works. So, this is the rotor here. I mean, this is always spinning. It's the part that's attached to the engine. And way down in there, there's a permanent magnet built into the rotor thing down there. I can't really get this out because it's... I don't really have the tools to do that. So, there is a permanent magnet built into this rotor here. And then that spins, inducing voltage to the coil which steps up the voltage and then, as I discussed earlier, goes from here 
you know, into the carbon brush, and then this gear spins, electricity goes through that post, then out through these electrodes to the spark plugs. So yeah, I mean, relatively simple. Alright, so then here's a demonstration on how to time one of these one of these things. So here I have the timing light connected right here. You have the red lead to the contact breaker, then green and black to magneto case here. There is a little black stub right here attached to the rotor. That's the cam, that's what opens these breaker points right here. You can see there. And so with this timing light, I mean technically the timing part is really um, pretty easy. You just use a screwdriver and you move this part ever so slightly. A few of the uh, connection points on these clips, I tried fixing them because originally they were kind of loose, but the black one has been kind of a pain because originally when I put this together, I uh, didn't really feed enough wire into here, so it'll be loose, but it's better than it was, so I mean. Initially, when I turned this on, it should not make noise. It's like a fart machine, basically. <laughs> Alright, hold on. Let me do some troubleshooting here. Alright, so I actually am supposed to have this coil wire attached to the breakers. <laughs> Because when you're timing it, it's not supposed to pulse, but like that, because I mean, that's just the, the default noise, basically. That is what it's supposed to sound like. So, the sound means the points are open. Then you have to use a screwdriver to adjust the points. Actually, I almost forgot something. You're not going to be able to see this, but there is a little notch way down there in the rotor. I have to use this special tool for to position the E-gap the, yeah, the e for the rotor for optimal timing. So, I'll do that. I can't really easily hold the camera and like uh, use the screwdriver to time this thing at the same time. But the general idea is to like set this so like at the sweet spot like just before the contact points open or be just before the thing that makes the noise I mean I can try <laughs> but then the stand moves yeah like that let's see I want it okay so the thing is, when the when the timing light makes noise, that means the points are open. When it's off, it means the points are closed. So you want to find the spot like just before the contact points open, and you should be good to go. Then you can take this tool out. It's just called a T150 tool. I don't know why. That's what it says in the manual. And you can take this off, and then put it all back together. Well, so another good thing to know about is on this rotor gear, there's right and left indicated, so depending on what direction your magneto rotates, stick that on with the letter pointing this way towards the distributor assembly. And this is the point where you want to insert your timing pin here in the distributor assembly, so you put it in from the outside here, line up with the hole here, and then your gear hole into here. You leave it in when you uh, verify your timing once you spin the rotor, which will do that after I get this put back together. And also when you're putting this back together, don't forget to retest this wire. Right here that connects to the capacitor and P-lead, so don't forget that. Alright, I have the magneto fully uh, reassembled now, and I have the timing light hooked up again to verify that my magneto is timed. So we have the red, red wire to the P-lead here, then green and black attached to the casing here. See, I see yeah, the timing pin is in right here and I already turned the thing on and then all you have to do is, well, I use the woodruff key right there is a little stub sticking out. I just use that to grip on for the rotor. Then you like turn it 
well you should have to turn it just very little bit and then the light should or the thing should start making noise Oh, I just said it. Hey, went past it. <laughs> Alright, so I had to go in and retime this whole thing because last time it, when I turned the rotor, it didn't make any noise. So, yeah, timing pin is in the distributor. You want to make sure that. And once you turn it, it should do that. Exactly that. Well, there you have it, and that will be it for this video.